All right, my name is Mike Millard, and today I'll be teaching on energy. So, what is energy? Um, energy is defined as the ability to do work. Um, big black set of back, do work, son. And uh, uh, your body uses energy every day. Caleb did a good job uh, in his presentation of showing, you know, how the heart is always pumping and how it beats, you know, every day, all day, without stopping, even while you're sleeping. And, you know, does it just do that on its own? Or is there something else that's pushing it to do that? Um, and the answer is it's using energy. Your body's using energy the whole time to do a lot of, um, says something in your body. Okay, so all the changes that occur um, each day can involve the uh, conversion of energy from one form to another. So there, there are many types of forms and energy is always constantly being converted from one to the other for different uses. Um, so in, the, in an explosion, what do you think is happening um, with, with energy? What is, what is the role of energy playing in your explosion? Does anybody have any guesses? <coughs> Grant, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think is happening with an explosion in terms of energy? In terms of energy. Yep. I don't know. That's okay. I'll help you. <laughs> when an explosion goes off, usually nuclear bombs more so. We'll focus on um, an atom. Okay, an atom, a complex atom is being split, and there's energy inside those bonds. Um, that, you know, there's a lot of energy, it takes a lot to, to split that, and when it does, it releases an, an incredible amount of energy, as you can see um, by the explosion I have here. So, we're going to look at our forms. Um, energy has several different forms, electrical, chemical, radiant, and thermal. So, thermal, obviously, like the sun. Radiant is kind of like what your microwave does. Um, it's shooting photons to heat up your food. Electrical energy, obviously, is, is everything that we're using now, our computers, the, the smart board. It's all using electrical energy to function. And the chemical energy is a little bit what I touched on earlier with, with bombs and, and other things. Uh, chemical energy kind of gets into food, um, which is what, what gives us energy to move every day and get up and walk and use the smart board. All right. Energy changes that occur are large or small involve energy. When something is about to change its environment or itself, it involves energy. So when you're walking down the hall, when you're yawning, when you're doing really just about anything you do every day, it requires energy. And energy can be converted from one thing to another, like I said. So it's like having $100 in your bank account or in your wallet, and then you trade it for gold. You've still got $100 in gold, but it's a different type of currency, just like you can trade energy for different types of uh, energy. So let's look at a roller coaster. You've been to Cedar Port before, and you get on all these rides, but have you ever thought about you know, how these function or how they work? My guess is probably not, but um, energy plays a huge part in how a roller coaster works, and it gets into a little bit more of what's called potential energy. Potential energy is, is energy that you know has potential. It's pretty self-explanatory. You get to the point at here D, which you're, it's your highest point in the roller coaster. A roller coaster works by going, you know, they take you up the big hill the whole time. You get really nervous and you're ready to go down the, the big, the big first hill. But that gives you all the energy that you're gonna have for the rest of the ride. There are no other motors or, or belts or anything else that move the car through a roller coaster. It's that first big hill of potential energy that gains that powers the, the roller coaster for the rest of the way. So as you can see in this little graphic here, the potential energy is going to be the highest when it's at the highest points. And the kinetic energy is the highest when it's you know going downhill because it has the most motion. So it gains, 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 and now it's going to go down and the kinetic energy is going to go up. And when the kinetic energy goes up, usually your speed goes up, which is why you feel the big fast force you know, of the dragster as you're going up that first hill. So. Okay, kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of things in motion. Everything we do right now, you know, moving my hand, moving my mouth, I'm using kinetic energy. I'm converting potential energy that I had into um, kinetic, which is again, you know, things are always being converted from one to the other. Okay, uh, potential energy, like I said, is the energy stored in things that have potential. Okay, it's not, it's it's stored and it's not being used yet, but it has the potential to be used. Um, it's like, you know, if you hold an apple on a tree, okay, and it's, it's on the root and then it has potential energy, it's called gravitational potential energy because the gravity, uh, you know, that acts on everything in the world is pulling down on it, but the root is holding on. So once it let goes, then it has kinetic energy. So, so it goes from gravitational potential to kinetic. So the types of potential energy, like I said, chemical, gravitational, and elastic. Elastic would be like you're stretching a rubber band. Okay, so you pull that rubber band, nothing's happening right now, but as soon as I let my finger go, it's going to shoot off one direction or the other because its elasticity created all this potential energy just by pulling it back. So, like I said, chemical, um, 
the chemical energy is the potential energy that's stored in chemical bonds, which when broken, produce a lot of energy. So when we have explosions. Elastic potential energy is stored in something like can stretch or compress. Compression also, like a spring. If you push on a spring, when you let go of your hand, okay, it's going to shoot back up into the air. Okay? And this is just how you convert pot potential energy. Um, there are um, certain numbers in the formulas you can do to find how much potential energy you have. Okay. Law of conservation of energy. This means that energy cannot be created or destroyed. All the energy in the world that we have is, is it. Okay? It's converted from one form to another and then from another to another. So there's no way you can ever create energy. Okay? The, the, amount, the amount of energy that's in the world now will be the same now and forever. Okay. I need a volunteer who would like to come up and um, match up which is kinetic and which is potential. I'm sorry, just raise your hand. Come on up. Person sitting high, so they have high relief potential. Yeah. Well, that's the, that's a ball in which I know it's hard to see. Yeah, it's hard to see. This person going down. I was right away to do that. Well, that's a rubber band, so it's being stretched and has elastic potential. Great. Cheetah running. Okay. That's a person sitting on top of the hill. Great. Very good. Very good. Let's give her a round of applause. She got, it. she got it right. All of them right. All right. So now my boy Bill's gonna talk to you guys for a minute. <laughs> Bill by the science guy. Bill, 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 Now, this bowling ball has energy. It's not moving, but it's got energy. Please consider the following. You ready? Three, two, one. electrical energy is created, you know, that's why um, at the Hoover Dam, water is rushing through these huge turbines, and just the kinetic energy of water going through a turbine, it, it spins it and then it creates electrical energy, that's a conversion of one form to another, and so that's just an example how, you know, energy is always around us, it's always being converted, so, um, last little quiz here, okay, who wants to pick a color, it's a very simple question, get that blue, get that blue, okay, here we go, what is kinetic energy? Does anybody know? I would hope so. Yes, absolutely correct. We're just going to look at red here, whatever that is. What are the three types of energy we touched on today? Kinetic, we just went over that. What else? Potential. Potential. Rubber band. Elastic. Elastic, very good. Um, uh, name an example of potential energy. We talked about it. It hangs from a tree. 
an apple, an apple on the core. Can you ever create energy? Anybody? No? Okay. Um, what is energy stored in chemical bonds? Chemical energy. Exactly right. And what is Bill Nye's uh, occupation? He's the science guy. All right? Okay. That is it. That's my presentation.